Good morning, guys. So, I went and took care of Bailey. I'm back. If you guys watch Shane Dawson on YouTube, or if you don't watch Shane Dawson, watch Shane Dawson because he's awesome. He put up an almost two hour long conspiracy theory video, which I love. Um, so I'm gonna watch that. My mom's making food, so hopefully my stomach is like okay enough to have that. And then um, I'm doing a ton of meal prep type stuff to bring to my sister on Saturday. Um, because we're going to a concert that's like, she's like, like, <laughs> we're on one parkway to get up there basically, and she's like off an exit. She's like right there. So we're gonna stop and like eat there um, and uh, see her. I'm gonna bring her some frozen, like, meal prep type things so she doesn't have to worry about some dinners. And, um,. That's basically the plan for today, so I will talk to you guys soon. I hope everybody's doing well. Okay, so I'm going to start actually with um, something else, just because we have pasta that's going to go bad. Um, and we have this family recipe from, you know, like the Great Depression or whatever, where basically if you have extra spaghetti, uh, we call it fried spaghetti because you literally fry it, but um, basically what you do is you mix it with... Um, eggs and parmesan cheese and uh, basically fry it in a pan, flip it upside down, fry it again, and then take it out and that's it. Um, so basically I'm not, I can't have this right now. Um, I can probably have it in pieces so this is probably something that I'm going to end up freezing to bring with all the frozen stuff that um, I'm bringing for Allie to Adrian's tomorrow and then I can have it over the weekend at some point. So yeah, I just figured I'd show you what the recipe is because this isn't something that I've ever heard anybody mention or talk about ever. So anyway, so I'm starting with With this, since it's only a little bit, I'm only going to do two. And then I just have to really kind of mix it all up, so this takes a little while. recipe for this in the description. And then spray down pan. And then basically what I do is just pick it up and drain out as much of the egg and cheese mixture and then put it in to kind of like be in the shape of a pancake um, without it being too thin or too thick. So this is probably going to make two. Take that back, it's gonna make one. Okay, so while I was waiting for it to cook a little bit, I cleaned everything up. And now I am, I put also salt and pepper on the top. So now I'm just going to check underneath, looks good. And take it, 
flip it over. Just like that. And then that doesn't really have to stay on for very long. And then I, I had extra um, cheese and egg to make sure. So it's basically like scrambled eggs with cheese that my mom will probably end up having tomorrow or something like that. Or maybe like a, um, can't think of what the things are called, but we'll use it for something, so. And this is why this is such a great recipe. We just made some really, really, really good food out of pasta we would have thrown out. So fried spaghetti is done and cooked. It's going to be cooled down and frozen. So now I need to cut up a whole bunch of peppers and sausage and stuff like that. Okay, so it took forever, but I cut up all of the peppers. I have to cut up onion now. I'll cut up sausage in a little bit. And then um, this I don't have to do anything to, but it goes into a cold pasta uh, thing um, that I'm making for Ali. Okay, so I pretty much prepped everything. It was six bell peppers, I think. Um, and here, these are all of the sausage we're just using, um, is it sweet Italian sausage? Is that what it's called? What? Is it called, is it sweet or is it just regular? It's a sweet Italian okay, sausage. Okay, sweet. Yeah. And then this is, um, half an onion and two pieces, two of the little things of garlic. And it's going to go in this pan in the oven for like 25 minutes. And then I'm cooking pasta now, or I'm heating up, I'm um, boiling the water to put this pasta on, so I can cook that, um, and then mix it with some peppers and this broccoli I'm going to break apart so she can have a cold pasta. Okay, so everything is cut, I am just drizzling some oil on the bottom of the pan taking the onion garlic and sausage Oof. is from things this is crazy wine option the seller option where all of clean up the rest of it in a second this is going into the oven right now and the pasta is probably almost done so so I think we've had this in for like a half hour total, 35 minutes, so it's looking pretty good, but as oop, as you can tell, some of it is still kind of not cooked. So um, I'm going to put it back in for another 10 minutes and then we'll see where we're at. And uh, the pasta, it's weird, you're not going to be able to see this very well, but it broke apart certain pieces and then I'm going to mix it with this which is just raw broccoli and raw peppers um and put the um dressing on the side so that she can have that cold pasta whenever she wants hey guys so it's like 5 30 and everything that's needed to be like cut or cooked has been cooked well the pasta, I mean the pasta, the sausage and peppers are still cooking as you guys just saw. But um, I cut up, like the pasta is, um, is cooked um, and the peppers and the broccoli that are going to be mixed with it, they're all cut up. Um, and then I just realized, I forgot that I'm doing, I'm marinating chicken, I guess like thin, thinly sliced chicken breast, I think, um, with I think some sort of barbecue sauce and something else so that she can just um, take them out of the freezer and just throw them on the stove. So I'm going to do that, but that will take, that will be really quick, it won't take very long. Um, I just hope this lasts her like a decent amount of time. So yeah, that's about it. I'm just tired. Okay, so I just desperately needed to catch this on video. 
we're keeping Thelma in our main floor bathroom because it's like um, it, in the overnight it's going down to like negative degrees and she hasn't gone in the litter box she's not going to the bathroom in the house at all um, and we're worried so what I'm doing what I keep doing is going and going like that so that she you know maybe can follow me because she just lays down in the crate over there so that she knows like you know to dig there like this is where you dig and I'll see if I can get her to do it again but um, she goes into the litter box and just rolls around like, like she'll dig a little bit and then she'll just roll around um, in the litter it's the funniest thing so I'm gonna see if she'll do it again ah, how beautiful Yay. hey so I it's not that I over did it today but I just can't finish everything so um, I take care of Bailey tomorrow at 3 and then I'm going to Adrian's house because we're going to a concert in Connecticut on Saturday and we're gonna stop and see my sister which I told you guys but um, I thought I could get everything ready tonight so that tomorrow I don't have to worry about anything and all I have to worry about is getting to take care of Bailey and that's it um, and then go to Adrian's but I just can't like I can't do it so the sausage and peppers is made and in a container in the refrigerator um, and then the pasta the like cold pasta dish is also in a container in the refrigerator and then I have chicken that I have to slice and mar put in marinade like bags and that I haven't done so what I'm going to need to do tomorrow is separate everything into portions and like bag them separately or package them separately and then um, freeze them tomorrow night and then on Saturday I'll be able to bring them frozen to my sister and we'll keep them frozen except for the pasta um, obviously until she want, uh, wants to eat it so I'm just gonna um, I'm uploading the vlog from two days ago it's it's pretty much up right now so I'm just gonna do the vlog from yesterday right now and it's 9.30 and I just wanna maybe read and go to sleep, I don't know. I'm really tired now, so. Just wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update since today's pretty much been just about the, the food. <laughs> um, I'm pretty exhausted and a lot of pain. I feel like um, my legs feel like they're bruised like all over, but like to the touch but they're not so I don't know so I'm just gonna rest just rest and hopefully fall asleep soon mm -hmm.